Well, Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, it's uh, the first day in my studio in the year 2024. Uh, I've decided to revisit an older piece that I did and uh, not sure I'm going to get anywhere with it. Uh, but I thought I'd sit down and work on it and uh, see where I get. Anyway, I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, this is the clay that I'm gonna get back on. Um, I've been looking at it sitting on my shelf for about a year or so and uh, kept trying to figure out what the heck am I going to do with it. And I think I know what I'm going to do. I just uh, need to do it. And uh, first thing first, I've got to see if I like the positioning I, I, of the horses right now. Um, I kind of do. But uh, this part back here seems a little jammed up and... Uh, not sure exactly how I'm going to take care of that. Anyway, be right back. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can get a different idea for positioning this guy. Yeah, I like that positioning a lot better. And, uh... I've got to have all these horses connected in some way to uh, because in the bronze I can't have him standing on one leg like this front horse is he's gonna have to be supported by one of the other horses and that's gonna have to be this horse or it could be this horse here on the other side but I've got to be able to take these apart so that they can cast these separately because it would be very hard to make a mold uh, between and try to make uh, it just would make it impossible this will be the permanent position for this one but this this one and that one probably need to be removed to uh, make it so they can make a mold of it all. No matter how you look at it, this one's going to be an expensive, and I do mean expensive bronze. It's just not, there's just no way of getting around that one. All right. The more I look at this, if I leave this here and leave this one here and then remove this guy, they could make a mold of those two horses together. And they can make a mold of this horse a separate, instead of making two separate molds of each one of these. Besides that, I gotta have him connected here. And that would mean they'd have to weld the tail to the 
leg, which takes time to do. If I can just sculpt the tail touching that leg, it'd be a lot uh, less costly to reproduce it. So that means I'm going to have to take all this clay off and uh, rethink this whole thing. And then I got to extend the base out here a little bit too. And I should extend it out here to, as well. Because when they make a mold, they got to have enough room for the plaster and the rubber or the latex. And uh, this doesn't give them a lot of room on either side. I wonder if I should not put this on a new board and make it less cumbersome. All right, I'm going to have to think about that one, too. And this may be a day of just thinking about what I'm going to do and instead of actually doing any sculpting. All right, I found a board big enough to uh, put the uh, clay on. And uh, I can cut down on all this rigmarole here. And all I have to do is just move these uh, horses over to here. But I need to get them in a position where I've got enough room on all around to make a mold of it. So I'll be right back when I start doing that. All right, I got to move this over a bit so I have enough room to work on this. All right, I think I got it, and uh, yeah, it's just a matter of getting the sawdust out of the way, and uh, I'll figure this out tomorrow. I've got to uh, make it so that I can. Drill back there. Uh, let me, I'll come right back and I'll tell you what I go to. To uh, so they can make a mold here. I should have probably moved it back a little bit further, but it'll it'll do. But I've got to work out how I can take this off and work on it separate. Also, how I can make it so they can make a mold of this horse separate. This is not an easy piece. So it's going to take some figuring out. All right. See you guys tomorrow. We'll see what, if I get any further along with this or if I just throw up my hands and say, screw it. <laughs> All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.